Good morning, good morning. Uh, how are you this morning? Start, uh, I'm so glad to be on uh, Isha Speaks today. You, you know, I, I say good morning because I don't know if, when you're going to tune in to the channel, if it's going to be the morning, brunch, lunch, or dinner. Doesn't matter why. The uh, the word of Yeshua is for is faithful and true. But I just want to say hello to everyone. Seems like I haven't been here for a long time. We haven't seen each other, or I, you know, uh, a lot of things have been going on with everybody. Everybody's a little, you know, everybody's a little bit. Don't you feel like it gets like a little sluggish, you know? So I want to say hi to all of you all over the world, all over wherever you are right now at this time, okay? I say shalom to you. Have a peaceful day today. But uh, we're gonna, uh, a lot of things have been going on through the, these times. Uh, a lot of ins and outs that are good, bad, and, and just going through a lot right now. And uh, you know, like just like you do, I'm, I'm going and walking and doing what I'm, whatever I'm doing in the daytime. And I was thinking, I was thinking uh, about some verses for you and a lot of things that are happening. And, and we know that His word is faithful and true. His word will take us out of any situation if if we obey it and and, and we do what He says. Uh, there's a, get your pencil on your paper, we're going to go fast here because I uh, don't have much time, but let me tell you, uh, in, in, is it Matthew, in Matthew, uh, which one is it, 1128, is that the one you have? John? Yes. Okay, 1128, uh, we're going to have uh, uh, Alter Josh speak, uh, read it for you. Yes. Did somebody else want to? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I have it right here. All right. It says... Okay, it. don't read it. Yet. Okay, and then we're going to go on to some psalms that are going to uh, uh, just help us and remind us of what's going on. Remind us that they are encouraging words. His word is it our... Um, they're encouraging words that they speak to us, uh, encouraging chapters that we can read, that you can read for yourself, okay? Because right now, uh, we only read like one or two or three uh, scriptures, and you read the rest, okay? So I just want to thank you for tuning in to House to House, D.I., to let Isha speak. Let the woman speak. Let the woman give you a word of encouragement. On, you know, man. she does speak good words. She does have the law of kindness that comes out. Hallelujah. Don't get mad at her because she's Hallelujah. giving you or telling you that. She's giving you life. You know, one of the chapters, we're going to go, on, I'm going to go back there where it says in um, Proverbs 31, she says, listen, my son. With my loving eye, I will guide you and lead you. I will give you wisdom. Because it seems a lot of times when she's talking, the son might go way ahead. She has to bring him back and talk to him. Now, why I brought that to the I don't know why. Okay? If this fits someone, take it. And better listen to your parents or, or, or your father or your mother. Thank you, Yahuwah. Thank you, Yeshua. Hallelujah. But we're going to go um, to the um, two more chapters, which is chapter 124, and then we're going to go to, um, which is the other 103 one? 103 in Psalms. Yes, 103 in Psalms. Okay, so um, why don't we go to um, 103 first? 103 first. Okay, it's he's going to read it for us right now. It says in Psalms 103, Baruch Yahuwah, O my soul, and all that is within me. Baruch, his holy name. Hallelujah. Let's stop there. You know, it says, uh, you know, the word Baruch in Hebrew is, well, you know, in English, blessed. Okay, so let me explain that to you. It's, it's blessed. So it says that, you know, blessed be, read it out so that they can hear it, so that we can get it. Read it from... Uh, the King James, or how that yeah. it would be understandable. In the King James, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Okay. And so, 
Nowadays, and now we spoke of it before, what's going on right now, a lot is going on. It doesn't let you think, it doesn't let you do nothing. We're either mad, we're up or we're down, don't, can't find it. But we have to uh, make time and stay in that place. A lot of times we can't get in the place where we want to bless Yeshua. We can't open our mouths, we can't do anything. And a lot of times, we say something and someone else is getting it wrong. Or we say it wrong, or we say it uh, high, we say it mad. You know, it's all confusion, it's all like that. We don't want to be in that place. But you know what? In I believe in Matthew 11, 28, when it talks, you know, if you're he heavy laden, if you feel that you can't move, or you feel you're walking with some someone and you just gave up, ah, let them walk, I'll walk behind them, whatever, and you don't want to, get into that place where you are in order, where you're doing things right. Like you get up in the morning, go to work, and now I have to go to work, I have to do this, that, 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 whoever's working out there right now, you know. Or you have to face the day, and you think it's gonna be a, a day. Remember we said, it says that every day we should say, this is a day that you have made. You made it good, you made it perfect, you orchestrated it, you made it for me. You know, we got to be cheerful. But it says in Matthew 11, 28, what does it say? It says if you're heavy laden, what does that mean? Heavy. Do you have a lot of uh, problems? Do you have uh, a lot of thoughts already before, uh, already uh, solving them yourself instead of letting him solve them or give you advice on them or what to do? You know, we make ourselves heavy. We don't want to, I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that. But he says, you know, if you're heavy laden, come over here. No, come here. Come on. Open your Bible. Open the word. Open the encouraging word that Isha has given you and read them. And what does it say? If you're heavy laden, come up to me, he says. Here, give me your heaviness. I'll give you my yoke. You know, my yoke is easy, he says. You don't have to be that way. I'm giving you this word in case you're in that position right now. In case you're in that place right now that you don't know what to do. Hallelujah. I, I, can't, I don't know what way to turn or this way. And you know what? We can even be one, someone that we, we, uh, uh, we might say, oh, well, I know that already. Or always getting that I, I, I. Oh, really? Come on. It's going to come for the word's sake in you. And I want you to act and tell me. If you know it, then I want the proof of it, what you're doing. This is the time when he's asking for that right now. I'm going to go come and tell you, see where you're at. So listen, listen. He says, give me your heaviness. Come on. I want to help you. I don't want the, the waters to drown you. I don't want you going through things that you can't handle. Here, give it to me. I give you my yoke. When I give you my yoke, ah, it's good. So, Elder, read it. So like that, you read it once, they can read it afterwards, okay? Sure. Matthew eleven twenty eight says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, on, yeah. and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. Verse 30. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yeah. See, he says he's gentle. And gentle, it could be in, in, in a lot of ways of gentleness, of, of uh, walking with somebody, touching somebody. But you know what? Now, a lot of, uh, at this time right now, it seems like a lot of people aren't talking very gently. You know? You might take it wrong, someone's talking rudely or uh, rough or tough or, you know, he says, oh, Father, thank you, Yeshua. You're so good. And you're so faithful, Yeshua. That when you speak, you speak gentle. Maybe there's someone out there that needs a gentle word today. A gentle word that will take off that heaviness off you. You know, a lot of heaviness comes from already not wanting to face the next day with someone or, uh, you know, just facing the days, what the, you know, 
what's going on right now. You know, a lot of chaos. But you know what? He says, He will speak to you gently. Okay? So let's put our ears out there. So he's going to speak to you. Listen to His voice. And for that, um, you can put there chapter um, 29 when he talks about his voice. If you hear his voice, his voice, ooh, it goes through a lot. It does a lot. So just turn to that one. That is Psalms 29. But um, like I was saying, like he says, all, all you uh, women out there, starting this day, turn to... Uh, Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28. Because we do get heavy laden. We do get tired. We, we get tired of the same thing. We want some gentleness. We want to hear. I want to hear your voice. You know, in uh, <clears throat> Psalms uh, 124, David is talking and saying, and he's saying, you know what? You guys... Of course, in the in the word it says Israel, but it's like saying, you know what, you guys, if you would have been this way that way, you know what, I really want you to think, guys, that if had not if it had not been for Yeshua, what would have happened to me? You know, right now there's a lot of. Uh, of worries, a lot of things going around the world or just in your house, wherever it's at. <clears throat> if you're in a position that you were looking for uh, a place or, or uh, to solve something, whatever your problem is, your condition, whatever it is, give it to him. Because he says that in Psalms 124, David says, you know, I guess, you know, you that are in trouble right now, you that are heavy laden, <clears throat> if you really stop and think about it, it says that if it had not been for him, where would we be right now? What would happen to us? You know? Mm -hmm. So thank him. What I want you uh, to do is for you to read the whole chapter. Okay? Read that whole chapter. It'll tell you what he did or what happened. Okay. That one and um, Psalms 124 and Matthew 11, 28. I like it. I like it so much because, you know, wherever you are, wherever you are, uh, you know, you better woke up. You, you, what, what you're doing? What you're doing just even right now listening to Isha. When he says, hey, how you feeling today? Are you one of those that are heavy laden? You know what? Let me tell you something. Give me that. Take my yoke. Mm -hmm. Take my yoke. For it's light. It's light in weight. It's not heavy. And it's also light. It'll make your, you know, make you see the, the light. And that's him. Right? So, uh, I know it's been a long time. To me, it seems like it was a long time since I haven't been on or I haven't said hi to you. But it's so good to sit here, to sit here and just uh, welcome you, okay? So, um, I'm going to be leaving. And, uh, wow. He's so good. He's so faithful. I want to thank you. I want to thank you, Yeshua, for all these women. Right now, if there's anyone that is heavy laden, tired of carrying so much uh, worry, we carry worry, we worry about our, our sons, our daughters, our husbands, our situations, you know, just things. That, if it's gotten too much for you, you know, even if you're physically tired, you know, just remember, read Psalm, uh, Matthew 11, 20, what he's telling you. Walk by me. Don't try to race me. Pace me. And I'll talk to you. And we'll be able to give me your heavy lane and I'll put my yoke upon you. Okay? So take that encouragement today and give it to someone else. Uh, and uh, encourage them 
so that they might feel encouraged, okay? So um, I just want to thank you for tuning in to H2HDI, you know, to turn it into all the channels and to let Isha speak. Wonderful to uh, see you out there all around the world, all right? This is uh, Isha. Hallelujah. So I'm telling you, till we see each other soon again, okay? It's going to be soon again that we're going to see each other. And I'm going to let you go now. Remember, yeah, I always say, yeah. no matter yeah. what, put that smile on your face. We've got to do that for him. Even go smile in the mirror so that you give a smile. Give a smile. Anyway, shalom. I want you to have shalom and a pleasant, good day. Okay? So walk with him. Walk with him. Walk by his side. Come on. Give him your uh, thoughts and your heaviness to him. He's going to barook you. But he's your So until we see each other again, uh, this is uh, Isha. Okay? I say to you, Shalom, Shalom. Take that.